said that he's sorry. You probably saw that here last night. But Congressman Michael Grimm may not be quite off the hook for this whole thing yet. He was caught on camera after the State of the Union threatening a reporter. Watch. Let me be clear to you. You have to do that to me again. Not to me. That last part is particularly harsh. I will break you in half like a little boy. And so Washington law enforcement officials are now considering pressing charges against Congressman Grimm. But listen to this. Anthony Weiner's offering Grimm some advice on scandal control. Wait, is Anthony Weiner really the guy to be advising anyone on how to deal with reporters? Is it ambition? Is it a hunger for the big job? It's hard to take you seriously. I just have a feeling I've like stepped into a Monty Python bit. You want me to do the, the weather or something? If you can do the weather, you can do yes. the weather for me. What? Where is it from? This is, this is in England? You can do the weather here in New York okay. if you like. No, no, no. I'll do yours instead. It's going to be raining and cloudy and gray. I did not send a picture that my Twitter account had been hacked. If I can do anything to make you more comfortable while you're sitting out here in the hallway, uh, please let me know. By the way, I fought very hard for this community and delivered more than you will ever in your entire life. You never delivered anything. You know nothing. Any you know nothing. People. Your ignorance no, is being shown for the entire you're world. Do you want to ask me a question or do you have me on a harangue with a split screen? This can't be good TV for anybody. All right, you know what, Anthony? We got about 20 seconds left. So here's what, here's what, the question is, Anthony, what is wrong with you? That's what I want to respond okay, to. Okay, I heard the question and I said, well, what do you mean? Because I, I desperately right, care for this. Continue it online. We'll find out if Anthony Weiner sticks around. Yeah, to do this yeah, online. Anthony happen. Weiner, you'll get the last word. Thank you. If you want it, Anthony. Good night, Lawrence. I could watch that last one over and over. I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. So we're back now with our political panel. We have them to stick around and get one more round on this uh, this question. So Karen Tumulty, what's going to happen to uh, Congressman Michael Grimm after all this? What do you think? Well, I think if uh, you know, it's it's hard to see criminal charges coming out of this. I mean, this is this is a congressman who clearly is going to be under a lot of scrutiny. It sounds like he may have something to actually worry about with the investigation. Um, and so he's going to have to learn how to, to handle questions about it. And that, you know, Anthony Weiner is certainly no one to be giving advice, but the advice that he gave was actually fairly sound. And that is, you know, if you're in public office and you are under an investigation and you go out in public, you should expect to be asked about it. Yeah. And Anthony Weiner was clearly asked about it and didn't always enjoy uh, <laughs> the effort of responding all that much. Um, so, Louise, you know, how serious is this story, do you think, for Michael Graham? Well, you know, um, the story just keeps getting worse and worse and worse for him. What's striking is that, you know, it's very normal, I can tell you as a reporter, it's normal to get bullied a little, not that extreme, and usually not by the person themselves. Usually it's a PR person or a handler. You know this. Absolutely. It makes the phone call. Yeah, and they try to intimidate yeah. you, but it's sure. really unusual for the person themselves to be uh, going after a reporter like that. Yeah, and he doesn't cool off in the middle. He kind of leaves and then he goes, wait a minute, one more thing, and then he goes back in. No, there was not a birdie in his head saying, stop, stop. Yeah. No, and his Italian mother, as he said himself, was not in his ear saying stop, stop at that moment either. So John, uh, what, what do you make of all this? Anthony Weiner chiming in and, uh, and, and Michael Grimm clearly, you know, I mean, he apologized and, and it was accepted, you know, so he probably thought at that point, we're done, and maybe they should be. Well, he apologized, but I think when you blow up at a reporter like that about a scandal, um, if you're not guilty, you certainly give the appearance that you're guilty by getting so worked up and so riled up. It never works well for uh, you know politicians to act like this. Uh, it always blows up in their face when they overreact. Uh, I think that if, if he doesn't face charges, he's going to be uh, thrown out of office by the voters. So that's a choice that he might oh. have to face. All right. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much to all of you. Uh, great to have you here tonight, Louise, Karen, John. We'll see you next time.